It's my privilege today to, to um, invite our Executive Director of Ministries, Julie Dirks, to come up and share a really cool announcement with us, Julie. Good morning. Anyone else feeling that post-Summer Quest fatigue? I think I maybe stared at the wall a little bit too long yesterday. <laughs> um, it's a good tired. It was definitely worth it. <clears throat> I am here to share with you an update about where we are in hiring a children's ministry director to replace me in that role. Um, so back in March when I took my new role, obviously that left a spot that needed to be filled. And so we gathered together a group of our leaders, our Awana director, nursery and Sunday school coordinators as they had the best insight into what that role was going to look like. Um, and um, we put them together as a search team. Um, and I want to personally thank each one of them for their time and their commitment to prayer. As we worked through this process, we were committed to hiring someone that the Lord wanted what he wanted and not what we wanted. Um, and I appreciate them being willing to take on a few extra responsibilities um, as I needed to step into my new role. So thank you to them. Um, as the search team began receiving resumes, we were really blessed to have a great group of applicants, both from within our church and without. And we could tell from the start we were going to have some tough decisions to make with so many gifted applicants to choose from. So we just prayed that the Lord would grant us clarity, wisdom, and unity as we tried to determine his will. It took us some time, much discussion, and a lot of prayer. But after some applicant screening and some initial phone interviews, we began to see the clarity and unity that we had been praying so much for, and we were able to narrow the field to our top candidate. Uh, this was followed by a meet and greet lunch with the staff in the office, who gladly gave their stamp of approval, and an in-person interview. And at that time, we felt we were confident that we could present our top candidate to the elder board for their approval, which they uh, um, gladly did unanimously. So by God's grace this morning, and with much joy, we are here to announce the hiring of our new children's ministry director from our own body here at Grace, Casey Teeter. Come on up. <laughs> I'll spare you my happy dance, but I did, I did one and I've done a few of those already. <laughs> Um, Casey comes with over a decade of service in Grace Kids, as well as some valuable life, work, life and work experience that we think are going to serve her well in this role. She has a heart for the Lord, for our church, and for children, as well as a desire to see the ministry of Grace Kids grow and flourish. So please pray for her as she begins her new role on the 24th of June. She will jump right into planning and preparation for the fall summer uh, Sunday school and Awana, which is no small task. <clears throat> so, um, Casey, we want you to know that we deeply appreciate your desire to serve the Lord in our church in this way, and we really look forward to working with you and seeing what God is going to do with, through you in this ministry. Um, and so, um, I'm just going to ask the church that you would warmly welcome her and offer her the support and love that you have to me over the years. I cannot say enough about how much that's meant to me, and so I'm confident that she's walking into um, a position where she's going to be well supported, and so I've asked her to come and just share just a little bit about how God worked in her heart to bring her to this point. Good morning. Um, as Julie said, I'm Casey, and I'll just talk about my family for a minute. I'm, uh, my husband is Troy, and we've been married almost 20 years. And we have five children, five awesome children um, that range in age from 9 to 20. And uh, that's Audrey, Hannah, Ava, Olivia, and Jace. And many of you have, have uh, volunteered and, and guided them through their growing up years as well. Um, so um, I lost my spot. That was better last time. <laughs> So we've been attending Grace since 2006. We uh, have been, I have been actively serving probably about about 10 years um, in some capacity or another. Um, God really put um, this, this church on my heart in um, last fall when the office administrator position was open that Janelle Payton was vacating. And I reached out to her at that point. Um, I felt led to apply or at least inquire about it. 
And um, after meeting with her and doing some, having some um, praying about it, uh, God really told me no, that was that was not it. But He had it on my heart that I really needed. I was led to to something here at Grace. And uh, so fast forward a little to the executive director of ministries position. I had contemplated that maybe that was where God was leading me. I have some about four years of human resources experience. I thought maybe that was that was it. And again, just a very clear no. So I. Um, continued to pray, and then obviously the children's ministry director position came open, and um, one of my biggest prayers through all of this was clarity. I submitted my application, and honestly, God has met me at every point and just opened the door, and um, there has just been no question that this was the right thing for me to, to do. Um, and uh, so um, I'm really lucky, and I'm, I'm humbled, and I'm honored um, first, but um, I inherit a really a thriving ministry here. So uh, Julie has diligently worked to grow this ministry um, and so have the many volunteers that I've served. And I look forward to doing that with God's continued grace. So. Amen. So we'd like to have a commissioning prayer for Casey and invite the elders, current and former, to come up and pray for her. And then also invite Troy and the family to join them. Would you come up, please? And Mark Friesen, our elder chair, will lead us in that prayer. I know I uh, speak for all elders in uh, thanking the, the search team and their diligent work and, and in, do, in doing this so quickly as well. And I know um, Julie is more thankful than any of us getting this done so quickly. So... <laughs> Um, if you would please stand. Father, we thank you for bringing Casey to us. Thank you for being active in our search for um, this position. We have sought to do your will and not ours in this process. We thank you for her heart, her desire to come alongside parents in a partnership to teach and guide children in the knowledge of you and what you have done by sending your son to die on the cross for us. This is an important role in our body. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Lord, this mandate is so clear. Children are the next generation of your church. Let us pour into them that they might flourish in your guidance and your word and that Casey will lead this charge in your wonderful and glorious name. And all of his people said, Amen. Amen. 